Hello, all of you fellow type ones out there. Today, I'm going to talk about one reason <laughs> why type one can be so frustrating. Perhaps you're just finding me. If so, welcome. Or maybe you've been following me since March when I started these Facebook Lives. Uh, my name is Dr. Jody Stanislaw. I have had type one for 40 years. I was diagnosed in 1980, and I came to do these Facebook Lives back in March when the COVID world began because I wanted to be a source of inspiration and motivation for all of us with type 1 living in these crazy times. So I'm so glad you found me. And today, I always show my number. Today I have a nice, pretty good flat line going. Um, let's see, I, I had, what did I have? I had breakfast, I had blueberries, and probably another 10 grams of carb in my smoothie this morning. And I also went for a half an hour walk and a little bit of a swim. And let's see if I had to spike through that or not. Um, nope, pretty good. So this is this is what I love to teach you guys. My, my biggest passion now, at first it was just helping us through COVID. Now it's like, I really just wanna help all of us get the proper toolbox for how to live a healthy life with type one and how to dose correctly. Because I walk in your shoes every day and I was alone for so many years and felt frustrated for so many years. like many of you do, that you don't get all the tools that you need from your healthcare team. So I am very excited right now that you found me and hopefully you're learning a lot from me and I'm working on building this membership site that like brings tears to my eyes because my goal is to have a very affordable platform where all of us with type one can feel supported and educated um, and finally for you to get the toolbox. So. That's probably not coming until January because it's going to take me a month to make it. And then we, of course, have the elections and holidays. So, <laughs> But this is one of the reasons why type 1 is so frustrating. And I like to call it false precision. There's a lot of false precision in diabetes. And what I mean by that is that they try to help us and simplify things for us and say, all you need to know is your insulin to carb ratio and your correction factor, and then we'll set your basal rates for you or your long-acting dose, and you just follow your insulin to carb ratio, and you just follow your correction factor, and all should be good. And I find that to be really bad education because it's not that simple. And so my message for you today is if you're feeling frustrated to have a lot of compassion for yourself because if you're like most people with type one, you just have never gotten the full toolbox of really understanding how to set your basal rates properly by yourself, how to make adjustments to your basal rates when you get sick versus if you're exercising all day, how to dose properly for meal times, which also includes thinking about what kind of carbs you're eating, what kind of fat and protein you're eating, what time of day, lots of other things like that and for you to actually get the education you need on how to not go low or high with exercise. So it's frustrating because you, you maybe you've got 10%, 20% of what you need. So like I said, my message today is just feel optimistic that there are resources that can give you the tools. And you know, I've got my free stuff on my website and on my Facebook page, and so I'm glad you found me. And I'm very excited for this membership program I'm going to launch in, in January. So I want to just give you hope today that if you're feeling frustrated that you're not alone and it's not fair for you to feel like you should be thriving if you didn't receive the full toolbox, right? So that's how I felt. And that's what people tell me all the time. They're like, you know, I'm working really hard. I'm doing my best, but I'm still feeling like I'm failing. I'm still scared of highs and I'm still scared of lows and I still don't know how to dose. So that's my message today is just have compassion for yourself and feel optimistic that there are resources out there. I'm creating them as fast as I can. Um, so membership program coming in January, but also I have lots of free stuff that you can access right now on my Facebook page and on my website, which is drjodynd.com. So no specific how-to tip today, really more of a just be compassionate with yourself. Anytime I work with patients, I always bring in the emotional aspect of diabetes and we need to really address this, right? It's that we have a lot of fear, we have a lot of overwhelm, a lot of us have anger and pity that we have this and it's so important to talk about. I'll never forget the first time I heard of Dr. William Polanski 
who he is a doctor who is all about treating the emotional aspect of diabetes. And the first time I heard about him, I just had tears in my eyes because I was so grateful that somebody just even had this topic, you know, as a discussion point. So we all need to also take care of our emotional self, not just our blood sugar, but our emotional self. And that's what I like to do. You know, I do group Zoom calls and I do private calls with patients and stuff like that. And I do these Facebook lives for you guys. And so my message today is not so much about blood sugar management as it is to just be kind to yourself today, right? Be kind. Diabetes is challenging. It demands a lot of dance steps, I like to say, every day. There's, there are little different moves, different music that plays every day, <laughs> depending on what we eat, our activity level, are we sick, are, are, are we having hormonal issues, right? So we have to learn this dance. And I want to empower you that it's totally doable. I mean, as you guys know that have been watching, I manage all this stuff and I, I've learned how to get good numbers still. So that is what's possible. So keep following me, keep having hope, but today's message is to have self-compassion for the challenge that we've been given. Um, I do believe that there's a lot of strength that comes from all of us living with type one. I believe we become more responsible, we become more disciplined, we become more focused on taking care of our bodies. I certainly know that you know exercise and eating healthy is, is of tantamount importance to me, likely because I have type one. So, you know, what are the benefits that type one is, you know, the, the positive attributes that type one is given to you? Think about that or, you know, post in the thread below. So thanks for watching today's video. I come live Mondays and Wednesdays right around three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern. And I'm glad you found me. Uh, please share my information with anybody else you know that has type one. You can check out some resources on my website, which is drjodynd.com. So thanks for watching today's video. You guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next Monday. Bye for now.